Many families of SMA uh, are, have concerns about the issue of tracheostomy. And so in my personal practice, and it's my belief, which I think is reflected in parts of the, it, which is reflected in the, um, the consensus statements for the pulmonary care or spinal muscular atrophy, that um, as, a, as, a, as a pulmonologist, it's my job to um, know what all the options are out there and to present it to you, the risks, the benefits, and the alternatives, and then tailor it to you as an individual, to your family and to your, to your child, um, to make sure that the options are what's best for you. So tracheostomy is definitely a option that is available that needs to be discussed um, and is, should be an ongoing discussion meaning that um, it should not be a blanket statement where um, yes, you do tracheostomy or no, you don't tra do tracheostomy. Um, it's, for some families, it's a um, decision that it's right for them. For others, it's not. But I think that um, a, a good physician should be able to bring up the concept of tracheostomy and try to tell you honestly about it, um, their personal experience and also their biases so that you can make the best decision for you and your family um, um, and to know that that decision will change depending on the, the issues that are going on.